Advantage Tom. Basketball is a sport built for dynasties. Football is not. In 13, just remember this, 13 NBA players have six rings. One NFL player does. Last name Brady, first name Tom. Peloton's a game-changing indoor cycling bike brings the energy alive studio classes to your home. Learn more. Peloton bike, onepeloton.com. Visit your local showroom. Otherwise, um, it, you know, we, we, there's, there's an old saying, you know, like, be careful who you get into business with. The more successful any of you would get, anybody listening to me, you have to be careful who you do business with. Because if it goes wrong and you choose a crazy person, it's going to land on you. You know, if Tom Hanks does a movie with a goofy director who has a history of bombs and it bombs, nobody's going to blame the director. They're going to say, uh, Tom Hanks was in a terrible movie. The bigger star you become, be very, very careful. The bigger brand you become, be very, very careful because it's always going to land on you because you're the person everybody knows. And the Lakers got into business with the Pelicans because the Pelicans have the star they want. Well, the Pelicans are a dysfunctional mess. You got a GM who David Stern publicly criticized, uh, and they were going to give Chris Paul away. They've had multiple trades, free agent moves. They haven't worked. I mean, Anthony Davis has played in seven years with one all-star, Boogie Cousins, and now he's gone. Uh, it's been a mess. But this is going to land more poorly on the Lakers because they're the bigger brand. And Chris Broussard brought up something on Undisputed this morning uh, in regards to Anthony Davis and the Pelicans, and they should be patient. Here it is. I would wait to see what Boston offers. Maybe it's better, maybe it's not. See what the Knicks offer if they get a top one or two pick. Maybe I want that. And if not, I can get this Lakers deal. Maybe we start the season. If Boston doesn't blow us away with an offer, maybe we start the season with AD. He can't go anywhere. It gives me more time to analyze these Lakers pieces. And maybe, maybe LeBron gets hurt again and AD no longer wants to go there. I mean, I've got too much time left with him under contract to be rushed into a deal right now. What's interesting here is so far for the Lakers, this has just been an optical mess. It's not a disaster they don't get him by today. That's not a disaster. It's an optical mess. It was sloppy and they don't get him. It could become a real mess if Chris Broussard is right. And what's interesting is LeBron's injury actually exposed a lot of things about the Lakers. It was LeBron's first major injury. First it exposed, ooh, LeBron's human. 15th year, he gets hurt too. It exposed their young players as, wow, they really are lost unless LeBron's on the floor. It exposed currently the front office that can't get a player. And then, frankly, Luke Walton didn't look good optically. And now, unless AD comes out and says, I will only play for the Lakers, which I don't believe he is going to say. In fact, I read yesterday he likes the Knicks too. What is plan B? Right now, this is just an optical mess. What happens if it becomes a complete mess and they don't get him? And Chris Broussard is right. And you start the season. I mean, Pelicans still have the rights to their star. Pelicans have several suitors for their star. They've got the leverage. I mean, Kevin Durant, look at the free agent market next year outside of Anthony Davis. Kevin Durant is not going to play with LeBron. Kawhi Leonard, I'm told he doesn't want to play with LeBron. Kyrie Irving, I don't buy that he wants to play with LeBron. I think he'll stay in Boston. I don't think he's going to be a Nick. Uh, uh, Clay Thompson, please. The Warriors are going to max him out. They're going to give him everything they can. And then there's Jimmy Butler, who's, let's be honest, now on his third team. And even now there's some musings that it's not ideal. And he can be a little disruptive. So right now this is just an optical mess. I mean, it, it's still, I mean, let's be honest. When this season started, we didn't think they were going to get Anthony Davis at the trade deadline. We thought this is going to be the year. LeBron feels it out. Probably a five or a six seed. That's what we all thought. That's what we all thought. You know, it, it was going to be, there were going to be, you know, maybe win a playoff series. And nobody thought three months ago they were again getting Anthony Davis. It's just now this is just an optical mess because they're not that far off track. But if they start next season and still don't have him, then you got yourselves 
no plan B that I can see. Uh, and, and it is also a cautionary tale that, you know, the Pelicans are kind of a dysfunctional mess. NFL people all in their NBA office. Uh, a GM that David Stern called out. A star player who wants nothing to do with them. And uh, Lakers got into business with them. And all the last nine days, stories now, they're just manipulating the Lakers. The Lakers look bad in this. Pelicans just look like the Pelicans. But this is the way the Pelicans do business. Lakers are a glamour franchise. They're the Yankees. They're the Red Sox. They're the Cowboys. They're a glamour franchise. The Patriots. Hey, they look messy. Joy Taylor with the news. No, 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 no. Turn on the news. This is the Herdline News. So, Nick Foles, there's another hurdle in the Eagles' plan to franchise tag. Nick Foles in the hopes of trading him. There's oh. several reports that that's the Eagles' plan, and a tag and trade may, might actually violate the CBA. Mike Florio of Pro Football Talk dug up Article 6, Section 8 of the CBA, which says a club extending a required tender must, for so long as that tender is extended, have good faith intention to employ the player receiving the tender at the tender compensation level during the upcoming season. Oh. So basically... They have to, they're going to franchise tag him. They have to then be working towards a long-term contract. Oh, and they don't want to do that. So this prevents teams from doing exactly what they're trying to do, which is make him a valuable piece in order to trade rather than letting him get